Just like December 10th, 2021, September 28th would serve as a reminder of how hostile a volatile atmosphere can really become. Weeks leading up, NOAA would monitor an area of disturbance that was demonstrating organized convection and issue a 90% chance of tropical cyclone development. However, after its birth and given the name Ian, models would continually disagree on path and intensity. A north approach and a Florida panhandle landfall would mean shear would chew the storm up and keep it around a cat 1 intensity on the Sapper simpson scale. Unfortunately, this was not the case. Ian would cross over West Cuba with marginal effects to strength, undergo strong and robust intensification trends, take aim for West Central Florida, and strengthen to 2 miles per hour short of a rare Category 5 or 155 miles per hour, giving it a high-end Category 4 rating at landfall. Ultimately, the effects would be nothing short of catastrophic. Just a few days later, and at the time of editing, the ever so fast and climbing death toll would surpass 100 claimed lives. Hundreds of millions of dollars of property damage and effects people may feel for a lifetime. All I can ask is if you find yourself able to, please consider donating to an agency of your choice for the victims of this tragic disaster. If you can't, no worries, but sharing this video with someone who can would also help. Lastly, I will donate a portion of ad revenue to the Hurricane Ian Relief. Thank you for watching. What's going on, Mezzo fans? I'm currently outside of Tampa Bay area awaiting Hurricane Ian's arrival. Let me show you off in the distance really quick. If you look there, you can see some of the bands from Hurricane Ian making its arrival here. It's still about 30 hours away. I'm currently just resting, but I would like to show you radar just really quick. We have a robust, healthy storm right here. This will be making landfall as a major hurricane, bringing in life-threatening storm surge as well as life-threatening winds. Be prepared for evacuation orders. Please listen to all weather radios and the authorities. This is a very, very dangerous, life-threatening situation. Situation we have. Either way, I'm wishing everyone well, and I'll see you soon. The time is 11:32, and it looks like the track has shifted down a little south of Tampa near Sarasota. So that is where we're headed. Hurricane launched in tropical storm warning has been upgraded to hurricane warning for the following counties in Florida. All right, Meso fans, we just got a evacuation order. This is a very um, serious developing situation. We're gonna be heading out here soon and I'll see you guys soon. Those clouds are spooky.
what's going on, Metal fans? I have decided on Poop the Gorda to stay and embrace Hurricane Ian in this parking garage. But what is very concerning is Ian's strength. It will be making landfall most likely as a category four. We're talking 160 mile per hour gusts. This is a very dangerous, life threatening situation. Storm surge is going to be crazy to the point where I'm on an elevated surface. That's what I'm anticipating besides the crazy wind among other things. But the storm surge, that's, that's the killer here. Don't get me the wrong, the wind can be extremely dangerous too, but what we're all concerned about is the storm surge. Either way, I am set up, kind of hanging out there. I got a camera running and I'll be checking in with you guys as it gets closer. I'm not exactly sure what the time is. I'll be sure to put it on screen. Either way, I'll be with you guys soon. All right, Mezzo fans, just got real. High end, category four. Gonna go right over me. It doesn't weak into a cat three till there. So, just a waiting game now. Army! Army all day. Sustains definitely tropical storm force at this 
All right, we're really into the eye wall now. As you see, wind has increased as these dust continue to ramp up. Storm Chaser Mesohunter is turning out the backside is definitely stronger than the front. 